Hello everyone. So this is my channel Whiteboard. This is basically a tutorial channel where uh, I will take you through with various different important uh, features available for um, uh, or useful for people who are working in finance field or any other field who mostly work with um, big size data or who need to uh, do number crunching or data crunching day in day out so these are the various features which would be helpful uh, so this is the first session so with the first session we will begin with some of the basic features and uh, as we move forward with lessons on this particular youtube channel we would also be covering advanced features in between and there would be even more advanced features which would also be helpful for financial modeling or uh, financial analysis or that kind of a uh, requirement so we begin with the first feature or a first function so to say which is available so we can see here on the screen the first one we are going to look at it as which is VLOOKUP and a function which is if error so these two functions how we can use it combined effectively as we can see on the left hand side we have a source data table which has a column of client contact person and designations of those contact person and on the destination data table for example if anyone would want to really know or, or would want to fetch the information of the contact person and the designation basically these two columns based on the, the data content in the first column uh, so here the person will not really have to copy and paste a lot of information from here to there for example if it is zoom then the data is supposed to be this is the data content which can literally be filled here but here the intention is not to do it manually the intention is to do with the help of a formula a single formula which is called VLOOKUP uh, so here that function can be made use of to print the information at a one click of a button so with that what we will do here is we would use a function with by writing e equal to we look up open the bracket then we can make use of the lookup value so this is the lookup value for us so we are actually going to search for this content then we put a comma then we put the table array the table array so basically that is going to be the source data table the table which has a content already available which we want to bring it to the destination table so we give a scope that find the value h9 in this particular table once we have selected that we put another comma and then we put for example if you want a column the, the content which is co contact person here the content of the contact person here in the source table is the second column in the table and the designation is the third column in this particular table so when we want the data the contact person to come in here since the column number is two here we want the column number and we put the column number two here and then we put the comma and then we put a false so as you can see it automatically brings the information of the contact person from the source table to the contact person in the destination table with the help of the client name which is already available here also we would need to keep this in mind that since the table is since we've selected the source as um, row number 8 to row number 13 we would also need to freeze this table so that we can simply drag this formula down here to get the client to get the contact with person against each client at a one click so here to freeze the call the table what we need to do is we would simply need to um, click function 
f4 with function f4 what it will do is it will add the dollar sign with the dollar sign what happens is it is freezing that particular cell number and the table array will not move when you move a formula so you need to freeze this and you need to freeze freeze this with function f4 here again and then you press and enter with this what will happen is you can simply drag this and automatically it will give you the information of the contact person against every client from the source table the same thing we can do it with the third column as well so for that the easiest way would be just copy this formula and paste it here as we can see here the h9 remained h9 as is the table remained as is since we want a destination here we can simply change the column from 2 to 3 as we can see here the destination the designation we have actually brought it from the source table here and we can simply drag it as you can see the client name google appears in the destination table but it doesn't appear anywhere in the source table and hence the wheelcup formula will show it as na since the content was not found so if you can if you if you really want uh, any to be shown as zero or you would want any's to be as is so if you want any's to be as is you can leave the formula as it is and then you can kind of uh, check the data completeness saying that google was not found so it is the easiest way to find any particular data which doesn't form a part of the source table or if you want uh, instead of any if you want to put zero let's say so we can in that case we can make use of the second function which is if error function so for using if error function in the same formula what we need to do is we simply need to add a formula if error open the bracket and towards the end of the syntax put a comma and put it as zero and end the bracket as you can see after dragging this formula what has happened is since we have given the information as if error we look up find out this particular column and if it is if, if there is an error in the formula let's say an a which was previously appearing in that case the data content automatically becomes zero so in case any content is not found it will appear as zero similarly we can also do it here by putting zero here then put it as enter and then trying try to drag a formula it will show as zero now we move on to the second feature here i would like to take you through with the feature which is remove duplicates at times when the data uh, is available it would happen that there would be a lot of duplicates in a particular column so if we need the unique data if you want the unique data to appear in that case what we can do is simply so uh, i would first of all copy this table just for an easy comparison as you can see i have just copied a table and here i select this data and then i move to data tab inside the data tab you can see the option of remove duplicates when you click on remove duplicates it will give you an option of select all or unselect all 
this would not be relevant in this case since we only have one single column here so we are literally trying to find the duplicate values in this particular column itself so since as we can see the column is already selected the moment we click here it shows that the three duplicate values were found and removed and seven unique values have remained here as you can see now we have only unique values let's say tesla was appearing here twice but now it will appear only once here so these are the unique words i mean unique clients we have we can say and the duplicate ones have been removed the third one i would like to show you is flash fill Flash fill is an easy feature, but normally not known to people. Um, so this is really important, uh, which I would like to show it to everyone, which is quite helpful for data crunching. So let's say when we have a table with the contact person, these are the contact person. So as we can see, we have first name and the last names already written here. So when we have a data like this, when the first name and the last name will have different number of characters and it becomes difficult to for a person to kind of split the data let's say first name and the last name to be split if that is the requirement uh, for a data uh, person in that case he will really take long amount of time to complete that particular exercise but here with the feature of flash fill which is inbuilt available in excel if that is known to that person, it will happen with a click of a button. So here, let's say when we start this exercise. Now, uh, if we can start with, uh, for example, if there's a table and we want to script this first name and the last name here, what we will do is, first of all, we will uh, we will guide Excel with the first particular row. With the first row, I would just mention, I would just try to split first name and the last name manually. Since this now information is already now available with Excel saying that if a contact person's name is David Walsh and I want the data content to split in this manner that the first word is here and the second word is here, then in that case, after putting this information on the second row, what we need to do is we would need to go to the data ribbon and there is a feature called flash fill if you see here. So, when you click on flash fill automatically the excel would be updating the first names the same thing we can do here by being here on the second row after the word Walsh, go to data ribbon flash fill and automatically it updates the last name so as you can see splitting words become really easy here with the help of a feature called flash fill now we move on to the fourth one let's say we have invoice numbers in this particular fashion but then we want to really make sense out of this data and we want to make use of i mean we want to just bring the first four let's say 1871 into a particular column then in that case we can make use of the, the formula called left the moment you put left and beginning bracket and then you select that particular content then put a comma and then you put number four here number four signifies that you want to extract the first four letters of the data then you end the bracket as you can see here your data is already extracted the same thing we can do with the right as well. Let's say we want to only extract the data which is 560 number here. Here what we do is we use write formula, select the content, put a comma and put 3 here because we have only 3 digits to extract. As you can see 560 is already extracted here. We can also make use of the mid formula which will typically fetch you the information of let's say the number 40550 from here so as you can see we put the formula here mid 
begin the bracket select the content put comma so we want to begin with the character which is so one two three four five six so we want to begin with six then put a comma and we want to extract five number of characters beginning from six as you can see here the mid is already extracted the moment you copy this formula paste it here it will automatically give you this information in a appropriate manner and then you can make use of this data with the help of let's say how many number of invoices begin with 1871 or how many number of invoice numbers have you know have been having a different ending sequences or a bid number because typically in a practical situation every particular digit I mean, every particular content let's say the left part of it or the mid part of it and the ending part of it will make some sense out of it let's say if 1871 1872 1873 is your cost center so in that case you can easily filter here and then you can see how many number of invoices have been issued out of a bu number or a cost center number which is 1871 now we move on to the fifth one which is on upper lower and a proper formula let's say we have the contact person or any other content written in an inappropriate manner and we want to standardize this data content in that case we can simply make use of instead of manually typing it we can simply make use of these formula which is inbuilt available in excel which will make the task quite easy with the upper formula we would simply need to do upper begin the bracket select the content and end the bracket end. so with this if you can see the entire word David Walsh has already been updated with upper capital letters the same thing we can do with lower as well let's say if you want all the content in a lower case in that case we can simply put lower open the bracket select the content and end the bracket let's say we want to make use of a proper function a proper will automatically properly uh, write the names as D would be with the uppercase and W would be with also with the uppercase. So here you put a sign of equal, write proper, begin the bracket, select the content, end the bracket. So as you can see now the data is proper. And as you can drag this, you can see now the data is written appropriately. Let's say in our example, Aditya Kapoor, this particular content was with the first, with the upper case and then with the lower case. If we want the names to be written appropriately like this, the first letter of the word to be cap, it can automatically be uh, updated with the help of these formulas. So I hope this video has been useful to everyone and uh, as we move forward, as I said, we will also be including more advanced functions. Till then, please like, comment, share, subscribe this video, this channel and share this video as much as possible for good learning. Thanks for watching.